Warren Buffett just spent $10 billion on Dominion Energy. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack and today we are speaking all about Warren Buffett once again. This is exciting because it's his first major purchase in the whole Roni situation and it's also been his biggest purchase in close to four years. And Dominion Energy is a natural gas company and yet again we're seeing these differentiations between the generation of Warren Buffett and the generation of today's traders. The rest of the world is getting excited about the EV market, all the electric vehicles, you know your Helion your Nicholas, Tesla, everyone. And then there's also a lot of hype around these big tech giants. Amazon just hit $3,000 and I for one, I'm kicking myself for not buying more. But Warren Buffett is still seemingly interested in natural gas. One thing that needs to be made very clear about Buffett from the start is that he has made it very clear in the past that he only likes to invest in what he understands. And the man has been investing in natural gas industry for longer than most of us have been alive. And another thing about Warren Buffett is he loves investing based off of intrinsic value. And let's just look at some of the most hyped up companies right now. You have Hillion, you have Workhorse, you have Neo, you have Golden Nugget Online Casino. These would be of no value whatsoever to Mr. Buffett. He couldn't even get an intrinsic value for some of those companies. They don't have any physical products, they don't sell anything. Yes, that is a Nicola dig. Another thing about Warren Buffett, okay, is that he is more than happy to invest in a struggling man. Market. Let me take you back in time, okay, to the Great Recession when Buffett went in heavy on bank stocks. Bank of America and Wells Fargo being two massive ones. He is not afraid to invest in a struggling industry and right now the oil and natural gas industry is struggling. And right before we get into the juicy information, can I please ask you to drop a like on the video? It helps me out so, so much and you guys have been absolutely destroying with the support as of late. Please do subscribe if you're new around here. We're literally about to hit 11,000 subs. I mean, it's absolutely crazy, but uh, thank you all so much and lastly drop me a comment down below let me know what you think of this purchase in particular or where you think he should be putting his money right now with all of that being said let's get into the video let's start off with the deal and what it actually entails warren buffett's berkshire buys dominion energy natural gas assets in a 10 billion dollar deal they're spending four billion dollars to buy the natural gas transmission and storage assets of dominion energy so this is what they're buying the natural gas transmission and storage assets of dominion energy and including the assumption of debt the deal totals just under 10 billion dollars and with this purchase Berkshire Hathaway Energy will carry 18% of all interstate natural gas transmission in the United States up from 8% a massive increase so just before we continue with the article this right here Berkshire Hathaway Energy. This is a holding company that is 90% owned by Berkshire Hathaway. And Greg Abel currently serves as President, Chairman and CEO. And so here is some of their subsidiaries and investments. Renewable Energy, Wind Energy, Pacific Corp. Basically loads of different companies to do with the energy sector as a whole. And then there is more than just that, okay? They're also in railroads, which is all somewhat intertwined, okay? With BNSF Railway. You'll probably see a few people speaking about these soon. Two pipeline companies, Carn River Pipeline, Northern Natural Gas Pipeline. Pipeline. Then your electric gas and distribution, electric distribution, electric transmission companies. So he's been exposed to this industry for a very long time and it's definitely one industry that he knows very, very well. So we'll get back to the article. For Dominion, the move is part of its transition to a pure play regulated utility company that focuses on clean energy production from wind, solar and natural gas. And then following the sale, Dominion expects that 90% of its future operating earnings will come from its utility companies that provide energy to more than 7 million customers in states like Virginia, North and South Carolina, Ohio and Utah. And here's a big thing, Dominion also announced that it is cancelling its Atlantic Coast Pipeline project with Duke Energy. And this was an $8 billion project. And when we found out that this deal failed, the stock price went down nearly a 11% and is trading in the red again today, but so is the majority of the market. So what's in it for Warren Buffett? What's in it for Berkshire Hathaway? Why did they buy, okay? The move greatly increases its footprint in the natural gas business. With the purchase, Berkshire Hathaway Energy will carry 18% of all interstate natural gas transmission in the United States, up from 8% currently. So Warren Buffett is quite clearly a bull on natural gas, at least in the medium term. And so if we're to look to people like Warren Buffett, you know, for advice, for guidance, is this a good thing for us? Should should we be investing more in natural gas? I mean, a lot of people are kind of brushing natural gas to the side as of late. Everybody's getting into electric energy, solar energy, things of the likes. I personally like both industries right now. But I can see why Mr. Buffett would be more interested in natural gas. It's because of the kind of investor he is. He likes to invest in companies who have history, you know, who've been around a very long time, who have been profitable for a long time, who have paid dividends, who are set. A lot of these electric vehicle companies are, you know, relatively new. Tesla, probably the oldest one, and that's still new in the grand scheme of things. And then you have companies popping up left, right, and center who are brand new, and Buffett will have no idea if they're gonna be a good investment or not. So it makes sense for somebody like Warren Buffett, who has his values, 
to stay investing in this industry in particular. So under the deal, Boucher Hathaway Energy will acquire 100% of Dominion Energy Transmission, Kessler Pipeline and Carolina Gas Transmission, and 50% of a Iroqua, how do, how do I say that? Gas Transmission System. Boucher will also acquire 25% of Cove Point LNG, an export, import and storage facility for liquefied natural gas, LNG, one of just six in the US. So a lot more exposure to the natural gas industry, massively. Can Warren Buffett doing this please make my investment in EPD worth something again? I mean, come on, man. It's the biggest midstream natural gas company. Why aren't people buying you? It's okay, man. Chill out, chill out. So Berkshire Energy will pay $4 billion in cash for the assets and assume $5.7 billion in debt. That's where the $10 billion number is coming from. Dominion plans to use about $3 billion of the after-tax proceeds to buy back its shares later this year. So look, Dominion's in a terrible place. You know, they, they wanted to make their balance sheet look better. Warren Buffett comes along and says, look, I'll buy all of this. Your balance sheet will look way better. You'll be okay. And now Dominion will go home back and buy their shares back and everybody's going to be happy. All going well, both parties are going to be in a much, much, much better position because of this in the long term. The deal is subject to regulatory approval, no reason it shouldn't go through, and is expected to close in the fourth quarter. Now, another thing about the company, okay, is that we already said they have more than 7 million customers in 20 states, okay? They energize their homes and businesses with electricity or natural gas. So these guys are also in electricity. And the company is committed to achieving net zero carbon dioxide and methane emissions from its power generation and gas infrastructure operations by 2050. So maybe Mr. Buffett is starting to get on the hype, maybe he's starting to get on the renewable energy, the electric hype. So the Minion Energy, they need a better balance sheet and they need, you know, to be in a better position going forward. So that's what this does for them. Q2 earnings come out on the first of next month. Who knows if he's been picking up some extra shares in some other companies along the way that we just don't know about yet. I mean, if he's willing to go and make a $10 billion purchase, he probably has been picking up some shares in a few places. Sunday's deal gave by for about 900 billion cubic feet of gas storage, which could be put to good use as the price of oil rebounds from an all-time low in April. Again, Buffett is trying to take advantage of a situation that was unforeseen. Hasn't been seen before, really. You know what I want to see now? You know what I really want to see? You know what would make me so happy? It's to see Buffett just start unloading that war chest of his. To see him just start investing like crazy again. I mean... This man could be the new Fed, you know? He could pump the markets with the amount of cash he has right now. The fact he has so much money in Apple right now does excite me. And it should also be known, he has a small position in Amazon, so maybe the man is starting to get on the tech hype train. I would just love to see Buffett just start unloading into the markets. Imagine Warren Buffett comes out and he just bought Hillion, or he just bought Workhorse or something like that. That would be, that would be very cool to see. Come on Buffett, do it for us. And here's just another little point I want to make, okay? Boucher Hathaway has huge holdings in insurance and utilities, which are two sectors that face rising risks and investing decisions related to climate change. They are among the world's leaders in wind energy production, but also remain a major player in coal. So buying into a company like this could be some sort of a hedge against their investments in the coal industries. Remember earlier on I said to remember this name, Pacific Corp, okay? they have a sizable fleet of coal power plants and Berkshire's Burlington Northern Railroad ships a lot of coal too. So simply put, he may just want to get more into the natural gas industry, okay, to start moving away from the likes of coal. So getting away from fossil fuels and getting into natural gas could be another reason he wanted to pick up this company. Now, the question, has Warren Buffett lost his touch? Next month, the man's 90 years old, people. The thing is, right, the way he has to invest now is different than how he was able to invest in the past. And that is one point that gets brought up a lot. He manages too much money to find good deals anymore. He can't physically invest in small cap companies. It doesn't make sense for him to do so. He constantly has to sell positions in companies because they're doing so well and he doesn't want to go above 10%. His options when it comes to buying companies is far fewer than us any day traders. And this is just one point I want to bring up, and this is probably where we'll end it off. In December 1999, during the height of the dot-com bubble, Barron's released an article titled, What's Wrong Warren? That questioned whether Buffett, he was 69 at the time, had become an old man who was out of touch. So I mean, he was severely underperforming in regards to the S&P 500, because he wasn't getting into these tech companies. And then the bubble popped and he was destroying the S&P 500. Warren Buffett is good at what he is good at. Warren Buffett isn't on YouTube, you know? He probably doesn't even know Hillion exists. Why would he care? It means nothing to him. Everyone on YouTube loves these shiny new companies. It's part of YouTube culture right now, to be honest. Warren Buffett is a completely different investor, and I guarantee he will be a better investor than any one of us watching this video if we lived 100 different lifetimes. He invests in what he knows and understands. Just because he's not doing what the rest of the world is doing, 
doesn't mean he's wrong. I for one am happy to see him buying companies again that he understands a whole deal more about than any of us do. Warren Buffett doesn't make these decisions by himself, you know what I mean? He doesn't. It's not just one man anymore, it's an entire holding company. I personally don't believe he's lost his touch whatsoever. There is just a new breed of investors coming through. Personally, I think what is happening right now is really exciting. The fact that Buffett is willing to invest in the natural gas industry right now, it shows good signs to me personally, considering this is a man who wasn't happy to invest anywhere when the whole market was down 30 plus percent. If anything, it has given me confidence, especially in regards to my personal natural gas or oil related companies. But that's the nature of the beast. That is the nature of the stock market, people. There will be good times and there will be bad. Do your analysis and believe in yourself. Thank you so much for watching, guys, if you did make it to the end of the video. I appreciate you so much. The support is absolutely insane on the channel right now. It is absolutely amazing and mind-blowing to me, so thank you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you for tomorrow's video. Peace.